canal was going to be this, this beautiful thing. It was going to be an object of beauty. There would be boats on it. You could have gondolas that look like, uh, you know, the Venetians did. It was seen as a sort of community benefit and a beautification as well. And then at the same time, the um, landfill that created the dry land in that is now Waikiki was really going to be was seen at the time as being really what we would think today as a suburb. It was built as and it was sold as single family residences on small lots. So that's why Waikiki has traffic problems and that's why Waikiki is so crowded because it wasn't laid out to have a lot of big buildings. It wasn't laid out to have big resort hotels. It was built to serve, what, again, what I said is like a, a suburban community. So the streets are small and the lots were small because it was seen as people were going to have individual homes there. Well, again, there was no way to anticipate in the 20s what was going to be occurring decades later and how Waikiki would turn into a dense urban area. Today we have a very clear sense of what Waikiki is because we've got the division of the Alawai Canal and everything that's Mauka of that. And before the canal was built, the distinction between the two districts of uh, Waikiki and Mo'ili'ili was not very clear. So that area, in fact, in its natural state, was mostly wetlands. If you look geographically at the island of Oahu, you see that the Ko'olau Mountains, as most of us are familiar with, receive a lot of rainfall just because of the way the trade wind pattern usually brings moisture over the mountains, it condenses into rain. So we've got heavy rain in the mountain and then a lot of that moisture, a lot of that rain percolates down through the mountains and would, in its normal conditions before humans altered the landscape, a lot of that drained into Waikiki. Now, because there was all this fresh water there, uh, the area was used first traditionally by the Hawaiians for growing kalo, for growing taro, because taro needs to be planted in water. Waikiki as a marshy area could not be developed. Waikiki as dry land could be. The justification used by the territorial government was that Waikiki was unsanitary as a marshland. It smelled bad. Uh, it was potentially the source of disease. So this was part of a, a larger justification for health purposes. And even though I do not think any health problems actually ever arose in Waikiki as a marshland, you can read a lot of descriptions that say it did smell bad, meaning it smelled organic, meaning you smelled decaying things. And that indicated presence possibly of unhealthiness. Therefore, to get rid of that, we have to dig it all out, spread all this nice coral fill down and make it all into dry land and then it is going to be more sanitary.